everybody welcome to my channel my name is Kiera if you don't know me already I am a introverted computer science major I'm a homebody and my zodiac sign is cancer so if that doesn't say clearly enough I have struggled with confidence for a lot of my life, especially when it comes to technical skills. I'm very excited to be talking about personal projects today because I think it's a great way to build your confidence while also developing your technical skills. And you never know when because of a personal project you've done, a door will open and an opportunity will jump out. So let's jump into some project ideas you can tackle. A personal project is a project you do on your own time, outside of school or work, in order to develop your skills and apply your learning to a certain area or topic. So why are personal projects beneficial? Well, first of all, personal projects are a great way to build your resume and also flex on an employer. Plus, you never know when an opportunity will open because of a personal project you may have done. But not to be forgotten, personal projects are a great way to build your confidence and they help you realize your potential. Before we get into the meat and potatoes of this video, I need to tell you about this awesome platform that's going to help you develop your data analytics skills. That's right, thank you to DataCamp for sponsoring this video. <laughs> DataCamp is an online learning platform that makes it easy for you to build your data analytics skills. You can learn at your own pace with interactive courses and hands-on exercises. There's no previous data skills needed to get started. DataCamp has courses for all different skill levels ranging from Excel 101 to more advanced courses. If you've been wondering if data science and data analytics is the right path for you, this is a great way to dip your toes in the water and get your data journey started. One of the courses that sparked my interest was the Introduction to Python course, which is all about using Python to perform data analysis. If there's anything I've learned throughout my internships with Boeing and other aerospace companies, it's that data analytics skills are important for anybody to have. You don't necessarily have to work in data analytics for those skills to benefit you. So advance your professional career and build a new skill. Stand out from your peers with in-depth data and analytical skills. Subscriptions start at $25 a month for unlimited access to all the courses, but there's no credit card required to sign up, so feel free to sign up and see if it would be a good fit for you. Ladies and gents, we all know that it's 2021, we're all leveling up our skills and our careers, and Data Camp is the perfect way to do that. So invest in yourself, use the link in my description, and get the first chapter of any course for free. Thanks, Data Camp. Now let's jump into the ideas. But first, I need you to get a cup of coffee or your favorite drink, get out a notebook, and write these down, okay? I'll wait. Okay, great. I'm assuming you have a notebook and a pen out. <laughs> so number one is probably one you've heard before, but I wanted to mention it because it's a super easy personal project to do. And it's one of those things that can really help you level up your career. This is a resume or portfolio website. This is a great way to showcase your resume in a creative and dynamic way and try your hand at web development. I will link down below a website that has some template ideas that you could follow. This is also a great way to show off to an employer. Number two is a project that you could do if you're interested in cybersecurity and honing your cybersecurity skills. This is a Caesar Cipher decoder. Say that three times fast. A Caesar Cipher is a type of encryption where you're basically like taking a, you know, a word or, you know, a string of letters and you're shifting the alphabet and replacing those letters with those letters. That's how it works. I hope that makes sense. So if encryption is something that really interests you, this would be a great project for you to do. Plus, I think this would be relatively easy to accomplish. So for this, in my head, I was thinking kind of like a Google Translate layout where you have an input and an output box and then an encrypt and decrypt button, if that makes sense. This would be a great beginner's project for a cybersecurity person. Number three is a habit tracker with a twist. I think it would be so cool to take the traditional habit tracker app. Oh, I got a hair in my mouth. I think it would be really cool to take the traditional like habit tracker app format and then create like quests that kind of go along with the habit forming process and then when you like accomplish a quest you could offer perks like stickers or points or something like that. I think that would be a really cool way to kind of develop your app development skills and also this could be something you could monetize down the road. Number four is a weather app and I think this would be really great if you're interested in more of the back-end development 
development side of things because this would most definitely be a project that's really heavily focused on information management and dealing with APIs and that sort of thing. So how are you retrieving weather data? How are you storing it? And how are you linking that with the user interface? Number five, I'm really excited about. I actually had this idea the other day, but I'm sure like obviously it's been done before. Like there's a million horoscope apps, but I think it would be really, really fun to make your own like personalized horoscope app and you could start with one sign and then slowly start to add the others and there is so much you could do with a horoscope app you could start off with just like you know the regular horoscope stuff like daily horoscopes like characteristics that sort of thing and then eventually down the road you could have a feature where you can select two zodiac signs to see if they're compatible and that sort of thing so i think there's a lot of potential for you know, things you could add down the road. You could start small and, you know, kind of build as you go. So I think that would be a really fun idea for an app or a website. All right, so number six, the last one, is to create a clone app or website. I think this is arguably the hardest option if you're a beginner. The idea here is that you would pick an app or a website to recreate. So like Twitter or something like that. And I think this is a really good option if you're really, really trying to develop those coding skills. And once you start like thinking through how they did certain things, it's going to change the way you think through things too. And it's going to give you the opportunity to kind of learn how you know these big companies have built their apps and websites. Let me know if you're thinking about trying any of these ideas or if you have any really creative personal project ideas of your own. Don't forget to come say hi and follow me on Instagram at Coding with Key. Thanks again to our sponsor, DataCamp. I will see you on Wednesday for my live stream. Bye guys. I love you. <laughs>